Volunteers are the backbone of many nonprofit organizations and shelters. They play an important role throughout the year, especially during the holidays. But due to the pandemic, those extra hands won't be around to feed thousands of meals to those in need, putting extra pressure on places like Good Shepherd Ministries. Last year, we had 10,000 volunteer visits. So we rely very heavily on volunteers. Pre-COVID, Good Shepherd Ministries received help from 30 to 50 volunteers a day. Since March, like many others, they've put their volunteer program on hold to keep people safe. The demand for services remains high. Prior to the pandemic, we were serving about 1,200 meals a day, and now we're down to about 800. With help from just two to three volunteers a week. We're really relying on staff, so we've redeployed people from administration to help on front lines. Are staff just exhausted right now because they're having to do a lot more work? I think, I think they're, they're holding up, they're bearing up. It's the same strain at the Scott Mission. Last year, 2,800 volunteers logged as many hours as 14 full-time staff members. The charity is still serving 300 hot meals and 200 bagged lunches a day. Staff and fewer than five volunteers a day are making ends meet. They know our clients, right? They know people by name. They know us by name. And to not have them come through the door is impacting all of us. As Christmas Day and Boxing Day draw near, shelters are gearing up for long and cold days ahead. In the past, we've been able to welcome people in, you know, a couple uh, hundreds of people at a time to enjoy a meal together, all served by volunteers. We are doing servings instead, four seatings a day. So for 40 people, we can have people come in, warm up, have a Christmas meal. The rest of our, our clients will be served to go how important are volunteers for shelters and organizations like yours? And they bring a lot of talent and different aspects to, to the role. Uh, they're doing it because they, they want to do it. Um, they're committed. The city tells us back in June they released one million in funding specifically allocated for community kitchens and more support may be on the way. Now the shelters we spoke with say although majority of volunteers can't be here physically, they are still lending a hand with food and clothing donations. Outside of Good Shepherd Ministries, Malia Sheikh, City News.